The Contacts app is one of the most essential tools you will utilize within the platform. To access the Contacts app, go to the app drawer in the top right corner. Then click on the Contacts icon. The People tab is where you will automatically go after clicking on the Contacts icon. This features a list of all the individual persons you are working with, including current clients, new leads, and more. Along with the person's name, the app includes a variety of additional fields for information including email addresses, phone numbers, websites, industry, and more. Similar to the People tab, the Businesses tab allows you to create contacts that represent actual businesses. A business features similar identifying information associated directly with the company. You can quickly search for people or businesses by entering a name in the top right corner in the search bar. To create a new contact, click on New Business. If you select the People tab, this will change to New Person. You can find more information about creating a new contact in the link provided below. The Import button exists just to the right of the Add New Contact button. This option is useful for those who wish to quickly incorporate contact information from a CSV file or perform a data transfer from an existing CRM. You can also download all of your contact information within this app by clicking on the Export button to the right of the Import button. This will automatically download all of the information within the Contacts app into a CSV file. You can preview all of your contact information by hovering over the contact and clicking on the blue icon that appears. You will notice that this contact preview includes several tabs that can detail information beyond the basic contact details. You can also access the expanded contact record by clicking View Record at the bottom. The app also allows you to customize your personal view. On the left, there's a column titled Smart Lists. Here, you can create new filters by clicking on the blue plus icon at the top. This will make accessing your contact card significantly easier as you import your current contacts and add new ones. By default, it will add a generic new filter at the bottom of your list. If you look to the top of your contacts list, you'll see that there is now a button that says Add Filter. You can click on this to set your parameters. You can further customize your page by adjusting the number of items on display at any given time in the bottom right corner. Finally, you can customize the amount of information you want to appear in every single column. Go to the top right corner next to the export button and click on the icon that's titled Manage Columns. Here you can see all of the columns that are currently displayed. If you wish to add a column, check the box. If you wish to remove a column, remove the check. With your changes, always be sure to click Save at the bottom. On the right, you can see the order in which your columns are displayed. Any column that has an item on the left here means that you can move and drag it. Simply grab it and move it wherever you would like in the list. When you're satisfied, click Save. This covers the basics of navigating the Contacts application. However, this is far from everything it can offer to you and your team.